If there are women out there, anybody, male or female listening to us today, what should they be doing to take care of themselves? Because I can tell you personally, by taking care of myself and spending time doing self-care, and that can be so many different things, right? It helps me be the better version of myself. Yeah. And it helps me be more present for everyone around me, whether it's my family, friends, colleague, community. It's, I find that I need time to replenish. And that could take many different forms. And for me, I do it on four different levels, whether it's a mental, physical, spiritual, emotional level. Yes. That is what self-care means to me. And when I feel full, I can be more present and I can serve better everybody around me. Love that so much. That literally brings a smile to my heart hearing you say this, because you've made such a beautiful transformation in yourself in these past few years. And I've had the, ple the pleasure and the privilege to watch that. So I'm excited for you. And I think that we're going to get into some basics and practical steps as to how to start to implement self-care if you're in the beginning phases of this. But I want us to bring our attention right now to why. Why? Why do we need to focus on self-care now more so than any time before? It's really about creating the paradigm shift, Nadira, that will heal us as well as our children, right? As well as the future generations. Wellness and preventative medicine expert, Sandra Darling, she shared recently that we often see this message of self-care in advertising directed as at women as like a sales pitch, you know, of something that we don't need, you know, and we're told you deserve it. So it makes sense that we would associate the practice of self-care with like pampering and spending money. But getting clear on what it actually means is so crucial for, like you said, our physical health, our mental health, our emotional health, and our spiritual health, right? There's a lot of guilt that is associated, I find, with self-care. How many of us that are actually practicing it now, because again, it is a journey. It doesn't just happen overnight. It's not just something that you tend to commit to as soon as you become aware of this conversation. But Nadira, how many women do we know, especially within our culture, are so used to putting everybody and their mother before themselves? 